Hello everyone! In this episode we're going to learn how to work with tile maps, which is going to allow us to transfer our level from this into this. Let's go! First of all, we're going to explain what tile maps is. Tile maps is a system in Unity used to build the sprites and the images and technically speaking building the level of each 2D game. That requires tiles of course. And uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to make sure of one of the important stuff mm -hmm. is the texture itself. So we've been using a, the textures of this asset called Sunnyland from which if you go inside the tile maps, the tile set and basically in each each 2D each, each tile game you're going to have something like this. It's going to go it's called an atlas or a tile set. It's a basically it's a bunch of sprites that concludes the pieces of each part of the game that you can use to combine to make your whole level. So this, this is the one that we have and I've got two versions in here. It's already sliced but I'm going to tell you what to do. So first of all you have to figure out how many pixels in each uh, cell or each element. What I mean by element is these stuff like each pieces of the floors. So in this one it's set as 16 pixel for cell. So first thing we have to do, I have to make sure that this is 16. So if we make this 16, and the next thing is, of course this has to be multiple, and we open the sprite editor, of course we have to apply it, and in here, there's a multiple ways to do this, and uh, the easiest way is, if you know the size, as you said, of the each cell, we go here into slice, and we, instead of automatic, we go by grid size, and we make this 16, we slice it up, and that's it. We got ourselves, if you can notice, we got ourselves a sliced tile set. As soon as we click apply, we're going to have ourselves this neat tile set. So, so I'm going to be using this one, which is already sliced. I just need to set up the values to 16 and apply it. We can see by default that these tiles that we made become smaller because th the size was 10, now it's become 16. So it consists of less spaces. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to disable the environment. Whatever we had, we're going to disable it. And we're going to have to create a tile map. It creates a grid and a tile map itself. The grid, think of it as the, the, the parent of all the tiles, as if you have it for UI. So it's the parent of all the UI elements in here. This is the same thing for this one. And tile map is the uh, I want to say layer but it's not really layer but let's go with this is a group of the tiles that we want to put in here so we can have multiple of those so um, let's create one called tile map background and you have the settings in here so tile map is basically the stuff that we need in here you can modify the animations in here the orientations these stuff are you can read them online it's, it's self-explanatory and the uh, important thing in here is the layering so because this is the background I wanted to have the lower value so let's make it minus one let's make another one I'm gonna copy and paste this let's call this one floors and walls I'm gonna explain why we call the floors and walls this is gonna be the uh, the tiles that's gonna collide with our player like you know we can we jump on we stand on the floor and then uh, we can go through walls so this is gonna be the main one the, other, the last one will be I'm going to call it props and of course let's not forget that floors and walls has to have the layer of zero and uh, this one let's make it one so it's going to appear in, fro in front of it next thing we need to do is we need to open up the tile palette so tile palette is this it's self-explanatory it's just the same as the uh, drawing palette which you can put your colors in here instead of colors we have <coughs> sorry we have sprites first thing we need to do is before we go ahead and explain what are the tools in here this is the whole area where we're going to see our sprites we're going to create a new palette and let's call it i'm going to call it uh, main palette uh, I've called it main because I only have one palette, so if you have multiple palettes, make sure to have them different, like props, uh, floors, walls, you know, all of this stuff. So I'm going to create, we're going to also save this in a folder, let's call it tile maps, 
Oops. I think I forgot to delete this one, the old one, tile maps. And inside, let's call, make a folder called palettes. So that's it. As soon as we do this, we can see that in the tile maps, tile palettes, we have the main palette. And it has all the stuff, like the same things that we need in here. If you want to work with gaps and stuff, this is all what you need to work with. More details in the documentations in Unity. So let's go back here in the palette itself. In order to, to import the tiles in here, you have to go to the texture that we actually spoke about, which is the tile set sliced, and hold it as, as it is, not these separate ones, unless you want to make a separate tiles for flooring, others for, uh, I don't know, like ceilings. You can separate, you can drag and drop them separately, but to, to import all, all of it, just drag it and drop it in here. And whenever we drag and drop the tiles, <coughs> the sprites into a tile a palette, it's, like it's going to create tile assets. And again, since I have only one tile, I'm going to make it, put it in the root folder of the assets. But if you have multiple, it's better to have it separated. So let's wait for this to finish. Get this done we can notice from here that everything is set in the same positioning as it has in it in the texture itself so let's start with this by explaining the tools we have seven I think seven yeah, two four six yeah seven seven tools in here the cursor is basically the cursor you can move around drag drop stuff the move as soon as you move as soon as you grab stuff you can move them around with the move tool the brush is the main tool in which when you click on it or click B and you have to select which tile you want and you can easily brush Control z to undo the paint is the whole it's like drag and dropping a whole bunch of stuff in the same place so you can have it with this or that so it's all up to you and, and i want to say something you can drag and, you can drag more than one piece for example like you see i'm getting multiple ones in here and the clone is i mean it, it just clones whatever we select so if you clone this do here that's it Delete, deletes, fill, it fills up. One of the cool stuff that we do thing here, like you can have this uh, nice shortcuts. If you click Control, it's gonna clone whatever we have. But if you click Shift and keep clicking, it's gonna delete. It's just like a nice way of doing stuff. So first thing we need to do is before we start with all these things, I, as I said, I, we have to preset some of the stuff. Whatever we build, uh, sprites or let's say tiles that have colliders, we have to make sure that the tile map parent has those features. So what we can do is, because this is the only one that's going to have colliders for me, I'm going to go add tile map collider 2D. And that's it. That's all, all which you need to do. So when we start drawing, before we draw, we have to make sure that we select the proper tile palette. Now we have only one, so we're selecting this only one. And on which Tile map when I draw, it's selected from this drop down. So first of all, let's make the flooring. So if I do this and I click in here, I have myself three pieces of tiles, right? And I want to copy. I want to copy and paste three. So I keep clicking Control and drag and drop, and then re release. So I have myself multiple floors in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a tiny level for the floors and props and then we're going to create the background. Alright, so so far we've managed to build this nice level. Oh, let me make sure that this has the same height of this one here. Hold on, hold on. Let's just copy. Let's go back to the flooring. Again, as we did, let's copy and paste this. That's it. We're good. So, we've finished the floors, the walls, and some props. Now we have to do the background. So, background is also easy. We've got this background image of the whole thing. So, if this is going to be treated as one piece, 
So what we need to do is we need to create a new palette, call it background, or just call it sky, you know, it's, it's nicer. So it's, we have to go back here, palettes, and create it here, drag and drop it, and have it go back to the assets, right here. So it's, it's kind of take care of doing the whole, you know, positioning and everything for you. So have to work, you have to worry only about placing the whole thing in the map. So let's play it basically in a, in, a, in a way that looks nice. I think that's fine. We're good. As soon as we finish, we can close the tile palette or hide it somewhere else. So it's up to you. So with this, we have ourselves a built level. And you can notice while we move the mouse, there's some seams in the scene, right? And they are visible even in, in here. So these are because of the pixels in between each cell. To fix this, there's multiple ways to do this. Uh, it's not only one thing. So try do this whole steps together. First of all, I have to make sure that there's no compression in in the texture that has all the tiles. And next thing, make sure this is point. Also, and uh, go into the uh, let's go back here. Project settings, quality, and that entitalizing should be disabled. And that should fix it. But if it did not, just like how for me, I had to go look online to find a lot of ways. And then uh, one of them is to have this workaround in which you have to check your texture, the main texture of the fratals, if it's and change this number of the pixel per unit to the similar number but less than 0.1. So we're going to make it 15.9 and we're going to apply it and everything should be fine. We're good. So right now, if we start the game, we'll be able to run around and move. Oh, I forgot to do one thing. The floor and the wall should have the layer of the ground. That's that's important. As soon as we do this, we have our character running around and jumping. So what I'm going to do also is set the map, sorry, the camera to the map itself. All right, we're good. So I've set the bounds of the map of the camera to the map. Also, I added some textures in the bottom left so we can uh, avoid seeing emptiness. So if we jump up in here, we reach the ed upper end of the map. I'm flying, we. All right, and the next thing is we're, I'm gonna just gonna reposition our things in here. So let's enable our environment and delete what we don't. We don't need the background. We don't need the floor. We don't need grating. We only need these elements that we have. But first thing we have to make sure that also these elements they have the same pixel unit value 16 eagle 16 cherry and this one is 16 so with this we got ourselves a tiny level make sure that the cherry has this proper Collider. So let's put it up in here. So we just have to take a tiny small level. This one, let's make it 1 by. Okay, let's make it 1.5 by. Let's put it in here as if it's like some sort of a open thing. And an eagle is just flying in here. Alright, so we got this level set up properly. And. Uh, that's it. That's the easiest way to make a level. You can use these style maps. It's a really powerful tool to expand your level, build more levels, more props, and all. And I hope you guys and girls like this and they enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like and subscribe for more great content and tutorials. And if you got more questions, hit it in the, in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.